I'm here with viewer Eileen Manassian, who wrote into the show about her five ingredients or less salad. How are you, Eileen? I'm good. I'm thrilled to have you here in my kitchen, Jen. I love watching your show, and that inspired me to share my recipe with you today. Well, what are we going to be making today? Well, we're going to make this a version of a Greek salad that uh, my children love, and I share it with a lot of friends, and I take it on a lot of occasions to a lot of parties. And it's easy? Very easy, very simple, and you start out with English cucumbers. These are huge, Eileen. They're huge. and. Peel them first. Okay. I peel them. Okay. And how come the longer cucumbers versus the regular standard guys? You know, these are burpless also cucumbers. They're burpless? Yes. <laughs> you don't burp uh -huh. eating these? Mm -hmm. With these cucumbers. They have no seeds. They have no seeds. And I think they actually have a, a, a better taste. I prefer them anyway. Okay. Now, I, my children like things chopped a little finer. So you do it like halves and halves and halves? Yes. Okay. Exactly. If you like your pieces bigger, and do them bigger. Where do we put these? Whoops! Whoops! Get the dog! Get the dog! Get the cat. I think one of the things that's so key about this recipe mm -hmm. is the feta cheese. Oh! And I always use the French feta cheese. It's creamier, it's not as tart or dry as um, Greek or some of the other feta cheeses. Well, put it in the bowl. Mm -hmm. Put it in a bowl, and I don't mix it all together, I put it in sections. Oh, so this is in the cucumber corner. In our cucumber Put corner. Right okay. So then we add the olives. Then we take the cherry tomatoes. Then we cut these in half. Oh, so these guys get in half. Uh -huh. Should I take a knife and help you? Yeah, that would be great, Jim. We had a few more tomatoes. I wonder where they went. I wonder. Do you have to cut the cherry tomatoes, or is that something that you think just helps with the flavor and with things being in small pieces? Well, I'll tell you a story. If you don't cut them, and you pierce one, and you happen to have a neighbor next to you that's eating, their life will be pierced by the juice of the tomato. Oh, really? <laughs> so they're easier to pick up on a fork if you have them cut in half. See what I just did? <gasps> oh, no! Quick, get the club soda! Here, I've got one open. Conveniently. Okay, and so once you have your tomatoes all chopped, yay, chopped tomatoes, then you just pile them in a bowl into their section. Uh -huh. And then we take the feta cheese, and if you want, Jen, you can cut up some of this feta and place it in the bowl. This is a creamier consistency. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. Because normally a feta will kind of crumble in your hands. Exactly. This, this is, is much moister. Okay. okay. And then the last ingredient is the red onion. So the red onions probably are best because of the flavor that they bring. They're sweeter. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And depending on how oniony you like your salad, mm -hmm. you can add in as much as you want or as little as you want. And then you just dice this up. There is tear. Are you starting to tear? A little bit. How about you? No, no tears yet. So five kids and married how long? Uh, 35 years. 35 years? Yes, we're dinosaurs. <laughs> You got married when you were 11, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. I knew I liked this show. <laughs> wow, you're not crying at all. No. I must have asbestos eyes or something. No, you've been married 35 years. Yeah. I've only been married seven. So I'm easily, <laughs> I'm easily pained. <laughs> and then this is where the salad is finished. And then the, uh, the salad dressing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to bring you to tears, Jen. <laughs> such a beautiful salad. <laughs> so now, how do we make our, our dressing? Okay, so earlier before you got here, I mm -hmm. squeezed fresh lemon juice, and there's like three um, three fresh lemons in here. Mm -hmm. My family particularly likes things lemony. If you don't like that much lemon juice, you know, start out with one or two. Mm -hmm. But I always use freshly squeezed lemon juice. As opposed to the bought lemon juice. Right, exactly. Okay. If I were now ready to serve this, uh -huh. I so would... So do not put in the dressing until you're ready to serve. Right. Okay. Yes. All right. Just before you're ready to serve, then I add the lemon juice mm -hmm. and sea salt, just kind of a drizzling, mm -hmm. okay. pepper, and then we add our olive oil. So do a couple of swirls, uh -huh. like you just went six circles. So yeah. I'd say six circles six of circles. olive oil. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we toss it. I often make this in the morning, mm -hmm. and then uh, I have the salad dressing and the olive oil and salt and pepper ready. And my children sometimes will, they get beat me home, will dress it and be eating it by the time I come home. Okay, so while this was five ingredients, mm -hmm. you can also add a few things? You can. You know, if you really need to extend this uh, to a full one-dish meal, you can always add 
grilled chicken, garbanzo beans, hearts of palms, uh, any green vegetable that you would want to add, steamed broccoli. Vary it up to your taste. Sure. So it's very versatile in a lot of different ways. Perfect. So if you have a recipe you'd like to share with Taste, just send us an email at tasteinchicago at AOL.com. Eileen, thanks for sharing. Oh, thank you for coming. Cheers. I enjoyed it. So perfect. Do you want to taste? Yes. yes. <laughs> Yum. Mm.